Good morning, Aries. Hello, everybody. I have Tarot of the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So look at that. Ace of Cups, Aries, and a Four of Wands. There you are. Dun, 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 dun. Four of Wands could be the wedding card, Twin Flame card, 11-11 card, but it's a lot of happiness and celebration. Eight of Pentacles, something... And the lovers, wow. Some of you Aries have been working on this relationship for some time. And this is just the na next natural step. Ace of Cups, I feel like there might be a question floating around. I think somebody wants to lock this down. Emperor, Ace of Pentacles, reverse, but an Ace of Cups. That's what I'm getting. It's like somebody wants to lock, lock this down. All right, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Aries. If you are an Aries, no an Aries. Look at that Page of Cups, Five of Wands, reverse. I feel like somebody, I feel like you have a question coming. Want to be an Aries? Aries, I'm glad you're here. You can be an Aries and this resonates. You can be dealing with an Aries. It could resonate as the main story and Aries can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about an Aries or for an Aries. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages from my lovely Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What is the energy for Aries out there? What is the energy for the Aries out there? What is it, Aries? What is it? What is it? Okay, Five of Cups fell out. What's influencing the Five of Cups? Scorpio energy. What's influencing the Five of Cups? Empress reverse. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? The High Priestess. Okay, we got two out of three major arcanas. What's in the past? The Magician. Three out of four major arcanas. What's on your mind? You, three of wands. Why do I get the feeling this energy knows that you or you, they, I look at the star at the bottom of the deck, four swords reverse. It's like somebody knows you're the one, but you may be kind of still on the shore looking for a ship to come in see how she's got a ship she's got an option she she knows who she is she doesn't want the past she's outgrown the past she's just looking towards the future i'm not saying this is a past for the most part i feel like this is somebody current that you could be seeing and i feel like somebody knows you know let's let's do this let's live together let's get married but why do i get the feeling that you may not be on the same page and they know that either you've said that for the most part, I feel like you probably said that and it makes them feel, it's like they don't want to give this up, but they're feeling, they have a lot of feelings here in these three cards. They don't know how to get you on the same page. What's in the near future for Aries? What's in the near future for Aries? It's like, it kind of feels like for some of you, Aries could have been in a relationship for a long time, but you don't know if you want this for the rest of your life, you know? What's in the near future for Aries? Chariot. Is that with somebody? Or, because the, I mean, there's only one person on this chariot. That's why I'm saying that. What's Give me another card in the near future. It's interesting because she's looking at the very, very, very edge of the horizon. You see the sun. And near future is you're in the sun, right? Cancer energy. What's in the near future for Aries? I feel like some of you might be thinking of moving, you know, somewhere else, just wanting to change so much in your life. It just feels like all these changes happening. What's in the near future for Aries? Okay. I have a feeling I saw a glimpse of a card that went flying and then it's face down. I might be your emperor, the male emperor that has a lot of yellow in it. One second. I mean, it went far away too. No, it's not. It's strength card. It was strength reverse. Why do I feel Aries? I, gosh, I'm really getting this feeling, guys, that some of you might just want to change, you know? And if, if you are, let's just say, let's go to the single Aries. If you got a four of wands here coming in. You have letting go of something. And if this is you, it just feels like it's time. It's just kind of like something's run its course. You might want to change in a city, an address. The magician is even back here. 
and it just feels like the momentum started back here and then maybe on your mind you're looking for new positions a new job reason for the reading is a high priestess you might be keeping something silent and then you leave so it might even this might even be a job read for some of you saying you know i haven't felt great where i'm at for a while but i don't want to tell anybody until something's in but you have a chariot something definitely comes in for you i mean look at that bottom of the deck is this king of swords and it looks like you have multiple stars and it's it's just this really really strong energy where you know what it is you want you're focused on what it is you want and you actually get what it is you want you know it's like check 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 all right what's this five of cups center of the reading scorpio energy five of cups center of the reading is this love is this work oh look at that ten of cups five of cups center of the reading devil reverse I mean, devil reverse is, is wanting to untangle yourself from something that could be toxic, unhappy. What is this devil reverse? Capricorn energy. And yep, it's so interesting because I, I, when I see this five of cups, I think of the six of swords. And I'll tell you why. She's holding a page of wands, but she's looking at a shore. And could she walk across that water? Probably. But it's like too... This person's waiting for maybe some type of Uber to come in to take them, but it hasn't yet. Six of Swords reverse. So she's waiting. She sees the shore where she wants to go, but she's waiting for a vehicle to get her there. What is this vehicle? Opportunity. That's what I'm getting. I don't feel like it's a physical person. I feel like it's an opportunity. And you're looking for an opportunity to get you out of something that has been not not very great you know what is this empress reverse influencing energy and the fool wanting to you want a fresh start you want a fresh start and it, i with all these majors it tells me that you hung in somewhere for a long time and i just feel like you could be bored you could feel like you're not appreciated the money's kind of went downhill or it hasn't changed much and you're just saying you know what I, I need something different. And I feel like you there's a lot of changes. I don't feel like it's just a job or just a change of address or change of relationship. I feel like Aries is craving something you've never had before. High Priestess, reason for the reading. Page of Pentacles, reverse. One more card there. And the Page of Swords. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, reverse is feeling really boxed in and feeling trapped and feeling almost suffocating energy. And a page of swords upright is looking, both of these cards are looking for a different opportunity. I feel like it's the opportunity that's gonna get you where you silently really need to be. I wanna say crave to be, but I feel like you need to be. I feel like, because the high priestess is the card of the soul, and it feels like your soul is aching to be somewhere else maybe with somebody else doing something else you know what is this magician in the past six of pentacles what is that six of pentacles in the magician back here nine of pentacles reverse yeah if, I'll, I'll be honest this is kind of feeling like a purpose or a job read you could be doing something that pays well. You could be getting, it, you, you wish you felt differently about it, but you may not. Nine of Pentacles reverse is just, and, and it's interesting because the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress card are minor and major of each other and they're both reverse, which tells me, I feel like people don't really know what you're struggling with. Maybe on the outside, you look like you have that job, you have that house, you have that car, you look great. But on the inside, they don't know how unhappy you've been for a long time. Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, but she's not really trapped. Emperor reverse here and a Three of Cups. I just feel like you just want to new all across the board. It's like you, you are trying to break free. What is this Three of Wands on your mind, your energy? And the Knight of Swords. 
this always reminds me a bit of a tower, a minor of a tower, and this is why. If you wait too long to do something that you know you needed to do and a tower comes in, you're going to run away. The Knight of Swords is fast movement out of there. She's on that shore. She's already outgrown the past. She has a ship in her hand. She's waiting for the right moment to run. And all you need to see is one hint, one opportunity, and you're out the door like yesterday. You know what I mean? There's going to be no two-week notice. There's no going to be three and three months. I think people are going to be like, man, where did Aries go? And Aries is like, I moved a thousand miles away. I have this new job. And people are going to be really surprised. I just feel like you're going to make a decision overnight for you. Something that needed to happen for a long time. You got the chariot and the strength reverse. Two more majors in the near future. Look at that. Two of cups and a three of cups. You put these together, you got a five of cups. For some of you, you found what it is you want. But there could be distance and you want to close in this distance that's why we got a five of cups upright in the center somebody's two and a three and remember that four of wands of celebration it's kind of like you might want to move closer to that look at that three of pentacles five of pentacles is that eight of pentacles we saw that at the um i think it was the second card on the clarifying deck Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Death card, and the Wheel of Fortune. There's there's a lot of majors here, Aries. I feel like, and there's a lot of cancer-driven energy going on. So it feels like in the next couple months, you might be having the stirrings of the soul. And then when an opportunity comes, an opportunity might be a love, you know, but they might be at a distance. And you waited a long time for someone like this to come into your life. And when you find them, you're not going to let distance keep you two apart. I can tell you that. If this is a job, it's just like you waited a long time for this. And now that it's here, you are you have one foot out the door. So that's what it, where I'm going. For some of you, I feel like this is the energy coming in because there's a lot of on the precipice of change. You know what I mean? And once that, that vehicle comes in, you're on it and you're out literally on that snail. All right, Aries, good luck. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your week. Take care.